This week on Mail Call, we're going to talk about ballista packs. This is the Survivor One backpack from Ballista Packs. As you can see from the early deployment, it allows you to have a hard plate, but not just in the front, but also in the rear. They have three different versions of this. You can get it in a soft pistol flex armor, a hard sided pistol armor, and what we have here in this guy, a level three plus rifle plates. Let's go over a little bit of the features of this pack here. The Survivor One can accommodate any plate size up to 11 by 14. It's on here. And we have this guy made October 27th, 2020. Pretty recent born on date. And these are ballista packs labeled NIJ rated. Inside the actual panel itself, there's a carriage system to accommodate smaller plates. You can do a square plate, you can do a shooter's cut plate, you can do a standard sappy cut. And on the inside, this whole system, you can clip it out. And you have this panel here. Now, you, this will also accommodate different plate sizes and has a different carriage system. But because we wanted maximum coverage, Big old square plate, also with a born on date of October 2020. So let's talk a little bit on how to set it up and deploy it. There are little zipper darts in here that help you open this pack up to put the armor in and out when you're first loading it up. You kind of Z fold it into the backpack. Now here is where the big trick is and you have to spend a little bit of time. So as you can see here, it's just a Velcro attachment and it comes, every Ballista Pack Survivor One comes with these little Velcro delete kits. And I'll show you why. So there's your main deployment. Here is your handle. You take these tabs and put them on the bottom of that panel. And the idea is when you grab this, it rolls everything up. There's also tabs on here so you can make it a flat handle you can make it a big, easy to deploy handle. But if you're not using a Velcro delete kit, here's what happens. <laughs> All right, so Velcro gets weaker uh, with age, with use, when it gets dirty. And so you can customize the pull and strength of your Velcro. In this one, I like to put all, actually all three because this is brand new right here on the tab side. So again, straps all the way down. And we'll set it up like this. Now, one of the things about this is if you have this around the house or someplace and someone tries to grab it by this strap, it's coming right up. So you have to be pretty cognizant of grabbing this back strap unless you don't have any of the Velcro deletes. It, uh, it can take a little bit of a time to set it up and configure, but once you do, you do it a couple of times, you won't have any issues. Now when you notice, and so you have the handle here, up and over. Now if you notice, this plate is loose. This is still going to protect you from gunfire, but if you're moving around, it's gonna be flopping. And then we have these quick deploy straps. And all you do is you grab the edges, Arms out, right behind you. Now you're all set up. Now the pack itself will still move, but this front plate won't. Now let's look at the front of this panel right here. We have molly loops here with Velcro, and we have Velcro down here. If you want to deploy this and have a gun ready to go as you don your armor, there's any number of holsters for pistols and little PDWs that you can mount on this rig, as well as mag pouches. To reconfigure these, I find it's best to just Z fold in, kind of like the armor, and you leave yourself a little tab to grab out. And also because it's Velcro and this is elastic, it adjusts for any body size and type. And we'll set this up one more time and we'll go over the pack itself. 
Now this appears to be a pretty sizable backpack, but we have to keep in mind is it's basically a plate carrier inside a backpack. So your carrying capacity is a little bit less than it otherwise would be. Unless you, of course, don't need the armor. There is still some space inside the bag, but bear in mind, anything you put in here is either gonna come flying out with your uh, carrier or it may impede the deployment of the carrier itself. So what appears to be our secondary pocket is actually our main pouch here. And it's still, you know, day pack sized. You have an upper pocket with an internal organizer and then your front pocket, which also has an internal organizer. An addition that I would like to see in the future would be a hook and loop panel here for modular magazine pouches and organizers and stuff like that. Also on the side of this pack, you have this panel here. Now this is a Molly panel, but you can roll with just Velcro, they have admin pouches, and just an overall delete panel. And of course that'll accommodate any of your Velcro and hook and loop accessories as you see fit. If you have a want or a need or a desire to have a rapid deployable plate carrier on the go, on the street, without looking like a weirdo, Ballista Pack is a pretty good answer.